I'm Suzanne Marchand. I'm one of the Nina Maria Gorison Fellows in History at the American Academy this fall. Ordinarily, I teach intellectual history at LSU in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. My project for the Academy this fall has to do with the reception history of the ancient Greek historian Herodotus, which is a lot more strange and a lot more relevant than one might think. Herodotus was a very curious scholar. He traveled through the Middle East. Uh, he reported based on uh, his observations and interviews a wide variety of facts, some of them more believable than others. My interests in uh, Herodotus have to do with two major um, things, the first of them being the instabilities in the text, which allow one to tell the story of Western civilization in a myriad of different ways and to undermine other people's accounts thereof. Um, I would say that Herodotus is about as diverse in its contents as the Bible and has been read probably in as many different ways, from American cold warriors to Afrocentrists, um, from radical post-colonial thinkers uh, to the makers of the comic uh, film The 300. Herodotus was known in antiquity as well as in the modern era as both the father of history and the father of lies. I think it has been massively important and generative for us to have had a father of history who was also known as the father of lies, as we have, um, in the, as a result, uh, managed to develop all kinds of techniques of truth-telling and the appreciation of all forms of history, which without Herodotus, I think we would not have had.